Hey Virgo, how are you doing? Sorry, I'm going to adjust, adjust. Definitely should have done that before I press record. Oh, the best. How are you doing? Let's get on it. Let's do a little head and heart check in for the Virgos for today. So, Spirit, what would you like to show us first card? Spirit, what would you like to show us for the Virgos today, please? What the Virgos are thinking, please, Spirit. What the Virgos are. There you go. Uh, what they're feeling. Please, Spirit, please excuse me. I've got... Oh. Virgos, you're very emotional right now, darling. Um, no, I'm not taking that many. I'm just not taking that many. And at the heart of the matter, please, Spirit, at the heart of the matter. Take the top one. Um, okay, let's get on it. Let's get on it. Yeah, I'm coming down with something, so please excuse the good glassy eye look and the... <laughs> I've got hot water and lemon going. So, a spirit want to tell us, and we're at the Seven of Wands, so there's some real emotional conflict in you at this moment in time. You are conflicted emotionally, um, but you're at a seven, so you're getting there. You know, you get that eight, you get your nine, you get your ten, you get your completion. Um, you're battling it. You're battling your own emotions there. Um, in your thinking section is the four of wands reversed. So the four of wands this way is like happy life, happy wife, happy wife. Um, all of that sort of stuff. Abundance. Again, it's wands um, to fire energy. Um, but it's reversed. So you've not got a happy life, happy wife. Or you don't, you, you think, maybe you think you're never going to get that. What you're feeling, you've got the seven. So you've got two sevens there. You've got the seven of pentacles. This is in your feel, so you could. So you've got fire energy. Um, so Sorry, I don't know what I'm eating here. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Could be dealing with an earth sign because uh, pentacles. So another uh, Virgo, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So this is really pensive. You're, you're feeling quite nostalgic. You're looking back. Um, thinking about maybe the past seven years, seven months, seven days. Seven weeks, um, if we're grasping on the seven there, but you're definitely uh, pensive, you're definitely really feeling nostalgic. You're all in your feels. <sighs> At the heart of the matter is uh, the fall in reverse. So you're not being young, carefree, um, taking leaps of faith like the fall here. He's like, I'm going to step off the cliff watch me fly you know he's just like i'm just gonna do it because there's no time like the present and you you know yolo you only live once but you're not you're just not okay don't make me say you only live once don't make me do it okay seven of wands why is this here so we've got the after tarot let's see where this is leading virgo seven of wands my music's gonna have a moment with me in a minute i can feel it seven of wands Where's this leading to? Seven of Wands. <laughs> they either want to take me a freaking book or they don't want to jump today. Seven of Wands, there you go. Two. Okay. Okay, four of Wands. Where's this leading to, please? If they stay, if you stay in this energy, where's this all leading to? Seven, uh, four of Wands reversed, please. Spirit, where's this leading to? If Virgo stays in this energy. Four of Wands, please, Spirit. Oh, Virgos, you... Oh, I've done a few reads already. <coughs> I'm using no one to play. Woohoo! You're very reversed, Virgo. Seven of Pentacles. Where's this leading to? In the Virgo's fields. Where's this Seven of Pentacles leading to? The full reverse, where's this leading to, please, Spirit? At the heart of the matter, not being carefree, like jumping off the cliff, etc., etc. Sometimes you've got to jump off the cliff. Huh. Okay. Okay, Virgos, because you've just got double cards and everything, I'm going to have to sort my music out in front of you because it's going to take forever. So, move this, move that. Okay, so if you're seven of wands, you're a real emotional battle there going on, leading on to, first you've got the six of pentacles, so you could, again, it's a pentacle, so earth sign, um, reverse, so you're not balanced, this is balance, this is balancing the scales, this is, put, you can see here, you know, 
balancing it out, evenly spread, evenly done. You've got someone rich, someone poor, giving it all, blah, blah, blah. You're not balanced. So right now, your, your emotional turmoil is leaving you extremely unbalanced. And I think you're going to continue that way possibly for this next part of this week for sure. You've also got the Page of Cups. So it could be dealing with a water sign. doesn't have to be. Um, and as you can see, the fish has flown the nest, has flown the cup. Okay, and that's left you really, really quite sad. Cups are emotional, cups are love. So someone's flown the coop. Um, four of Wands, so not happy life, not happy wife. Also, 10 points or a free reading for anyone who can guess this song. Uh, you've got the Nine of Cups reversed. So, again, not abundant. You're thinking, you're thinking, not happy life, not happy wife. My life, I'm never going to be happy. Where is me, Virgo? What the fuck is wrong with you? Okay? Gotta get angry. Oh, gonna get angry. Uh, you know, and you're like, oh, where is me? Emotionally, where is me? Love, where is me? Okay, looks like you had it all at your fingertips. And you've also got here reverse three of wands. So this is like sending, this is like a messenger. He sent the message, he's chosen and he sent the message. Looks like, Virgo, you've made your choice and the message has been sent. And I think it's been received loud and clear. Okay, here, you're in your, in your feeling section, you're feeling pensive, you're feeling, you're looking back, nostalgic over something, yeah. You have got the Hierophant in reverse, which is clarifying a Taurian in your field section. Um, also, so the Hierophant this way is like teachings, learnings, is also doing things the right way. You've something you haven't done the right way. There's something you're not doing the right way for you, which has left you like this. Here with your fall, so you're not being young, free, carefree, you, you know, jump off the cliff. What's to lose? You might break a bone, but that's as far as it's going to go. You're not going to die. Yeah. You have got the Emperor reversed, um, which is Aries energy, but the Emperor is the man that knows what he wants, goes out and gets it. He's a little bit narky. He's a little bit overpower, overbearing. He's quite powerful, um, sometimes arrogant, but he's reversed. So you, you're not being the all-powerful, the almighty you that you can be. And this two of cups reverse. So these are a, a pair of lovers who absolutely freaking adore each other. They love each other the same amount. They pour into each other's cups. They, it's, it's abundance all round. Okay, Virgo, so you're not doing something the right way. It's left you all up in your feels. It's left you all emotionally in a battle. Some lovers gone, see you, wouldn't want to be you because you've got that there. You're not balanced. You've sent a message. You're not happy life, happy wife. I mean, you're fit, not your bit worries me. You're not jumping off a cliff and you're not being the all powerful almighty. Virgos, all the best.